what you do with the this piston is you, the piston locks the core up, and you go to the depth you want within this here, and then you pull the, actually lock the core up, uh, lock this this this, this rope, and by pushing on it, the core will open and stay at the same depth. Yes, you pull that push down basically it's like this. So you see here the core, and then you uh, um, fix the, the rope here, and then you go down with this one. Okay. And then you put this here on. Make sure that the rope is not moving. What you can do then is to pull it by screwing this in. Oh no. And basically it's resampling the sediment water interface at the base of the lake. Um, so really for something like this you might only get 10, 20 centimeters or even less. I don't really know what's, what's in there. Um, but essentially the way it works <laughs> pulls off, um, is it's, it's basically spring loaded. So you lock your, your liner in, this is removable, and you can either like sub-sample this in the field or take mm -hmm. it back to your lab. Um, and then essentially you lower it over the side of the boat when we're there. And then when it hits the base, in theory, this goes down, okay. that goes up. It's not going to do it because we're not actually in the water. Yep. But then this would then, as you pull it back out, it like sucks itself in there. Yeah. And ah, as you pull it out, okay. we take cool. it out. We, can, we try not to tip it, <laughs> yeah. so because otherwise it's going to get mixed. And then we'll all together basically um, take it out of here, put this cap in the bottom there so we can get, get stuff in the bottom of the corner liner. Um, and then we can put a cap on the top, take it back here, and then we can we can subsample and take it out. Um, that's I mean there's something that's really all to it. You can lock it in and out with these, but you, as we just realised, you just make sure this is this is uh, got a lot of suction onto the top to, to lock it in place. And then yeah, switch them out and go again. But it's really only the top, yeah, you know, top bit. So you yeah, might be very lucky and get quite a lot, but there's a lot of water in the top. If you're lucky and it's really full, uh, you can take it out of the water, but keep the as long as you keep the tube in the water. It may actually not fall out, so as soon as you take it out into the air, it will and all the sediment is gone. Yeah. So you take it like 10, 20 centimeters below the surface, take your hand under yeah. and keep it there, and then you take it vertically up.